Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Welcome back. All right. So um, just full disclosure, I've actually already done a couple of bonus messages and uh, my pup barked at the very end of one of them. I will still release that just with a little warning that there's going to be a bark at the end of the video at the very end. But I wanted to, while that's processing, let's go one more time. Let's see if there's another message that comes out. We have an Ace of Cups in the reverse, an Action of Wands. Okay. Somebody's looking for love. They're looking for companionship. Somebody is hungry for um, the supply, right? This is somebody who might be looking for passion when in fact it's because what they're missing is love. There's an emotional um, vacancy that they're trying to fill. So they're actively kind of running around looking for passion, looking for someone to share maybe um, you know physical intimacy with simply because there is not emotional availability right now. We have the spirit of cups in the reverse, which is the queen of cups in the reverse. Could be that somebody dealt with someone who was emotionally manipulative um, and that that is something that they are now trying to compensate for by finding, you know, kindness and passion somewhere. This could also represent it is a queen of cups who is hasn't been felt made to feel like loved or cherished or special in a long time. And now they're just like, they may not have a lot of great emotions about themselves at this point. So they're, they're wanting some kind of, you know, it's like, for God's sakes, I'm starved for some kind of human affection. The only problem with this is that when we're in that energy of, you know, I don't feel great about myself. I haven't been shown much tenderness, kindness, love, or support in a long time. Now, I don't even feel that for myself. I don't imagine anyone will love me, but maybe I can at least find somebody to have passion with. You know, in that mindset, that's when our character, you know, what I just said there is like not somebody who is thinking clearly because, of course, you're, you're very lovable. And no matter who you are, Queen of Cups, whether you're a masculine or feminine, of course you're lovable. Why would you think that the best you could do is maybe to find somebody to have, you know, share an intimate kiss with? you're wonderful. But right now, you know, when, when you're denied something for so long, maybe you stop believing it yourself. Um, and I think that's what we've got. So we've got a character who's kind of out on the prowl, but I think it's because they're hurt. We get the eight of cups in the reverse. They feel like, well, it's over. You know what? There's been a huge emotional bond cut. I'm swinging here in the wind all by myself. I'm hurting. I haven't healed yet, but someone cut a bond with me. They just, bam, they just left me and that's it. It's over. This abruptness could be something. Now, maybe it's the queen who cut it, but the thing I would say is that they're still feeling a lot of hurt. Yeah, see, pen, ten of pentacles in the reverse. There's, We keep seeing a lack of abundance, so we have a wounded character right now, possibly a wounded queen who feels like the bottom just dropped out of their world. But we have the High Priestess here, and we have the Ace of Wands. This is going to turn out to be a really good thing, and I know it's hard for this character to see it this way right now when they're just hurting. But deep down, they know that this is how they're getting their creative spark back. They needed to just look at themselves. They needed to just be able to take care of themselves. They've Whatever this was that is no longer a part of this character's life, it may feel like they lost a huge support network or like they lost a lot. The truth of it is, no, that situation was draining them. What they're getting back is their power, their energy. What they're going to get back is their spark and excitement for life. At the moment, though, it might just be a little spark of like, um, you know, restless energy when when there's hurt and there's transformation and there's upheaval and there's change and there's some things are gone and they're adjusting to the new normal and they're getting their head on straight right now. I just feel that they know what they really are is carved for something better. And that's what they finally have space to create in their life. I think they're going to find themselves pretty swiftly and it's they're going to be feeling restored and they're going to feel replenished. Look at this life force energy. Hell yeah. We got the spirit of swords and we got the empress. Okay. So we are seeing, this could be a very loving person who gave 
way too much of their love to someone who didn't reciprocate. And then that someone left them high and dry, abandoned them. And that that's the, the moment where it's like, oh my God, this hurts so much. But even in that very same moment, even if they go out and they can my ticket to freedom uh, place when I kept trying to give love to somebody that really wasn't, they weren't going to re reciprocate with me. And I know that, and I definitely deserve more because I am more. And I think that this is a character reclaiming that. This is a character who's about to get juiced back up. Endings can be painful and tumultuous, even when they're fabulous. This character is finally getting restored and they are pretty swiftly, I would say, going through this metamorphosis and they know it. They're either having, um, and this could all happen in like a big, huge tumble of, you know, boom, 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 everything happens at once, right? One day they're in this kind of dissatisfying relationship where they've kind of either accidentally become a little clingy. Um, they keep trying to patch something up. They keep wanting things to get better in a relationship that isn't serving them. Then that person pulls away and walks away from them the very next day or maybe later on that night. They're like, I'm going to go out, have a glass of wine and kiss a stranger. And then the day after that, they go, oh, my God, this so needed to happen. This whole thing needed to come tumbling down. I've just been like, this is a jail bust, you know, I'm free again. Oh my God, I feel so much better. I'm going to take another long nap, a hot shower. And somewhere in the midst of this, by the time they wake up, they're going to realize a lot of things changed internally. I know it seems very sudden for a character to go through hurt and pain, loss, major change, and then instantly like flip like a hamburger on a griddle. And they're like, damn, I'm a freaking empress. I feel amazing. But I think sometimes transformation that has been coming for a long time, like we can shed a skin for so long and then one day it's just off, right? That's kind of what this looks like. This has been a long time coming. The process of getting to this point of sudden change has actually been happening for quite a while. This could literally be someone who had been healing from a, a situation that ended two years ago. And then suddenly after two years of thinking about it, two years of maybe crying over it, two years of feeling unloved, everything changes on a dime and they're just over it like, like a light switch just got turned off. Well, in this case, a light switch just got turned on. This character is, there's something about waking up after possibly a very restorative sleep combined with some really powerful messages. I feel like somebody's going to wake up from a really beautiful dream where they I, they may not remember it, but they're going to have talked to their guides in that dream. And they're going to realize, oh my God, I feel good again. I feel energetic again. I feel like I was an empress all this time. I was an empress that was kind of in captivity. I didn't realize that. Now I'm not in captivity. And I love the fact that we have the elephants here. And of course, we've got the elephant backdrop. And this is all because right now we're going through that Mercury retrograde. So this could be kind of a retrograde story, even though I didn't expect it to be. Um, let me just see. What's next for the Empress? Do we have new characters? Do we have new energy? What do we have coming up? Educator. Imparter, mentor, guide, teacher. This Empress, Empress's tend to sometimes be business owners as well. They don't have to be, but um, this empress could wind up because of such a, you know, momentous and seemingly like cataclysmic change that they've gone through. They could discover some kind of like really important um, way to describe what they went through. Maybe they're going to write, you know, the guidebook to, um, uh, you know, the guidebook to cataclysmic <laughs> change or something like that. I don't know. There's something here where they may be in a position where they really understand why it happened in this order. How you could go from overgiving, being in a karmic energy, because a karmic energy for the the Queen of Cups can be somebody that can be emotionally manipulative, right? An Empress can have been 
somebody in a karmic energy before, of course. And empress, it just means that we've, you know, grown beyond that. But empresses can still slide backwards and, and you know, none of us are perfect, right? No matter what we learn, we're still going to have those moments, those days where we might have a temper tantrum like a toddler. And it's like, ooh, that was an empress in the reverse moment, you know? But what I'll say is that I think this character realizes I was maybe clingy. I was needing something from someone who flat out couldn't provide it or didn't want to provide it. They might have cut ties with me because I really wanted them to give me what I needed when really what I needed was to get away from them and give energy to myself. I felt unloved. I wanted them to supply that. Maybe I was asking like, okay, we don't go to a restaurant that sells food and then say, my car is out of gas. I need you to gas it up. And then say, why can't you give me gas? I'm not leaving till you give me gas. This is horrible. I'm so hard done by right now that you won't give me gasoline. satisfaction I'm giving because this that's not what this character could have given remember whoever it was she dealt with was not a giver they maybe they didn't want to maybe she wanted a relationship with someone who clearly didn't want a relationship with her but instead of saying oh wow they got nothing to offer me she might have said once again somebody can't offer me anything why can't you love me what is wrong with me blah 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 and it's like darling you're asking the wrong questions just like it would be silly for us to stand and be heartbroken at a restaurant that won't give us gasoline for our car. They don't sell gas. They don't have that to give to us. So we just move on. Well, this is the equivalent of that. Finally, I, I do think that they might have moved on from her. They might have gone cold on her, cut her out, stopped talking to her, which initially could have been painful. But honestly, this was that moment of freedom also. If she were clinging, somebody else might have created the ending. But instead of that being insulting, it look, I, I would just say this. In life, sometimes we're going to be the person who is more evolved. Sometimes we're going to be the person that we look back and we go, oh, my God, I was so holding on to something. And, of course, they moved away from me. I was demanding things that they were never going to provide and didn't want to provide to me. Of course, they wanted to stop talking to me. Of course, they blocked me. I get it. I know why they did that, but it was the best thing they ever could have done for me because now I've moved on. And not only have I moved on, I moved on and I'm, <laughs> I got my life back. I got my energy flow up. I'm seeing myself in a different light. I'm seeing the situation in a different light. I think one of the things that makes an empress an empress is being able to reflect on our own actions and say, <laughs> oh man, man, I learned something out of that. You know, when we can chuckle at our own mistakes instead of being like oh my god i'm so ashamed i can't believe i ever did that i'm an empress i shouldn't have ever made a mistake like that oh pshaw everybody makes mistakes big huge fat stinky mistakes we do it and then hopefully we can look back and kind of chuckle and say wow <laughs> i learned that one learned it hard too but i got it now i really think that this is this is why we have such a powerful empress now and we put it together with an educator and i really think this is someone who could maybe really help others because they've been through it they know darn well what it feels like to be the person somebody moves away from because yeah i was too clingy once upon a time you know that could be some of the most um let's put it this way it can be very palatable when someone who's been through it can tell their own personal story about like, I did that before, for sure. Oh my God, let me tell you. I sent them 79 texts and I, you know, told them I didn't want them. And then I wrote them back and said I did. And then I, you know, cried. And then I, you know, wrote a song about them and then blah, blah, blah. And then they finally blocked me. And <laughs> it's a good thing they did. You know, I feel like somebody could say all of that. And as they tell their personal story, they're saying, and that's that's how I realized I was the one who had to grow because I kept trying to get gasoline from a restaurant. That's not, I wanted, you know, something that it couldn't provide. I wanted to move a relationship forward with somebody who had zero interest in that. It was me that needed to move on. It was me that wasn't loving myself at that point. 
because I wanted love, but maybe I needed to first give it to me and then, then everything opened up. That's what it looks like to me. So I feel like this Empress has like all this wisdom to share at this point. It's funny because I think this card came out in the other video that I'll release as soon as this one, well, as soon as it's done, the one with the dog bark at the end, which is a very different message, by the way. Very, very different. So we have two bonus messages from today. We have a seven of pentacles, so much growth, so and cute, fuzzy growth now. Lots of wonderful growth has occurred. We have an empress who is so, well, come on, they've changed because they've become an empress. They've seen things from a different light. What's that song? I've looked at life from both sides now. Um, but I think in that song she says, but I really don't know life at all. And I kind of think that this Empress actually does, or at least they know themselves. It doesn't mean that they won't be stunned to learn more lessons as they continue on. But with that Piscean energy of the hanged man, the pausing, seeing things through a different lens, looking at their own actions, seeing their own like what they were really hungry for. Look at this. We have a nine of cups. We have a very truly happy, self-satisfied, contented empress at this point. And I think this empress is going to be able to, you know, easily recognize when other people are kind of making the same mistakes that they made. I don't think they're going to walk up and be like, I can tell you what you're doing wrong. I don't think it's like that. But they could become a really great guide or teacher or educator on the subject if someone's receptive to it. Four of Pentacles, they could definitely turn this into money. They could definitely turn this wisdom into money, and they know this. Um, they're thinking about that. <laughs> On the horizon, we also have love for this character. So we have a real King of Cups. Remember before they were the Queen of Cups in the reverse? They wanted a King of Cups. Well, guess what? Now that they no longer are asking the wrong person, they the right person is showing up the really the right person we got a, a six of pentacles we got this energy of collaboration coming in it's funny how when a character stops asking the wrong person and they instead look at themselves and then they go through a little bit of growth then all of a sudden the right person just kind of magically morphs into their world it's um this is more a story about a character who needed to let go of some things and they couldn't. So instead they might've been pushed away and that could be painful. But in this storyline, we actually see this, this was wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful and nothing for this character to be ashamed of. Look at who they are today. They learned some beautiful lessons. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you for being here. Take care.